This is Mission Control Houston, and there it is, Soyuz MS-17 under its main parachute. And as we described before, the white smoke is the nominal venting of hydrogen peroxide and oxygen into the atmosphere right on time, right on schedule. We're landing planned about 10 minutes and 50 seconds from now. Reports now uh, from the landing site from the Antonov 26 uh, command and control flying aircraft indicate that the crew is in great shape. They've reported uh, everything is nominal on board the Soyuz. The value in audible. Don't worry, this is not a fire. Descending through a cloudless sky on a Saturday morning in Kazakhstan, Soyuz MS-17 with Rubens, Rizhikov, and Kudsperchkov aboard. Now nine and a half minutes from touchdown. Are you ready? Yes. 4.5 is the altitude on the input panel. Hmm? One more time, five minutes past. Let's do it one more time. Less than nine minutes until touchdown, uh, the Soyuz altimeter soon to be activated to measure uh, the distance uh, between the Soyuz and uh, land and the rate of descent. All that information being fed into the Soyuz computers that will trigger the soft landing engines firing just milliseconds before touchdown. The descent is, descent is in progress. Pressure is 411. CLS 0405. Copy. Altitude 3890. The beeping sound you hear is a radio beacon on the Soyuz uh, spacecraft that uh, is relaying uh, its uh, position back uh, for telemetry on the ground. The Soyuz is very stable. The winds are virtually non-existent uh, on the ground uh, at the landing site, according to the latest reports. Uh, put on the kneecaps. Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, with the search and recovery forces and the embedded NASA personnel are now circling uh, the landing zone, preparing to touch down in sequential fashion within minutes after the Soyuz lands. Those search and recovery forces are maintaining good two-way communications with the crew on board. Altitude 500 meters. Control altitude. Standing by for landing. Stopwatch was on. Just relax.
everything is nominal. Okay. In the descent module, uh, the three crew members have cocked their seats in the landing position, tightened their uh, straps against uh, their Sokol launch and entry suits just a bit tighter as they prepare for touchdown. Three hundred difference as sixty meters. Unintelligible meters. Copy, thank you. Sandwiched uh, between the launch of a Soyuz vehicle and next week's launch of a SpaceX Crew Dragon vehicle, United. Soyuz spacecraft is minutes away from touchdown on the steppe of Kazakhstan. Past one, 1,500 meters. One of the Russian Mi-8 helicopters uh, now in view. That uh, is the foreshadowing of uh, your being able to see the horizon shortly. Copy, I confirm, 1,000 1, meters. Just 1,000 meters off the ground. Some two and a half minutes until touchdown. Copy, 800. Copy, 700. Copy, 500 meters. Crew, get ready for landing. Just over a minute until touchdown, everything looking good. Touchdown. 
Touchdown confirmed at 11.55 p.m. Central Time, 12.55 a.m. Eastern Time, 10.55 a.m. in Kazakhstan on a Saturday morning. After 185 days in space and a mission spanning 2,960 orbits of the Earth and 78.4 million miles, Kate Rubens, Sergei Rizhikov, and Sergei Kudsvertskov are back on terra firma. At this point, uh, the Russian Mi-8 helicopters with the search and recovery forces uh, in tow will begin uh, to descend one by one, first uh, to erect an inflatable medical tent nearby the capsule, and then begin the process of extracting the crew.